Hey guys, this is Tropic Addiction, and today I'm going to show you how you can download the GoPro editing software app, the GoPro Studio. And this is good to have because then you can make a time lapse if you want to on your GoPro. You can merge all the photos from your GoPro to make a time lapse, or if you want to take a video from your GoPro and turn it into Pro Tune mode, or anything else. So just to, like edit your videos or anything, this is what it's good for. So. Um, to get the GoPro Studio software app, it is free to get on a computer. So, what you're going to do is you want to go to GoPro.com, and when you get on GoPro.com, you want to click on Products, and then you want to click on Software and App, and click on that. And then, scroll down, click on the GoPro Studio, it's free, so you don't have to pay. But you have to have a, you have a, have, you have to have an email. So just click on download now, and it'll scroll you down to here, and then you want to click on your uh, operating system if you have a Windows or a Mac. I have a Mac, so I'm going to click on that. Then I'm going to type in my email, so I'll type in my Tropic Addiction one. Um, type that in, and then click download now. And this, it might take a while for it to start downloading onto your own thing. So just wait till it downloads, and I'll... I'm just gonna pause it for now until it gets to that. Okay, guys, so it started downloading now. It's, it took about like a couple of minutes for it to start downloading. So, um, I guess I'll just pause it until it's done downloading. Okay, I'll see you guys in uh, one minute. Okay, guys, check it out. It's done downloading. So once it's down downloading, done downloading, you're gonna you're gonna double click on the GoPro Studio whatever the numbers are dot dmg and then it'll click opening and it'll say verifying then you can just go ahead and quit your browser then just wait till this is just pops up on there and then this will pop up and then you want to click on gopro studio dot pkg so double click on it then this will pop up this is the installer for it so just click continue continue Oh yeah, you also have to have all these things. These are the requirements for the thing. So if you have anything, if you have 10.8 on your computer or lower, then you can't. If you have anything lower than 10.8 on the operating system, then you can't use this. And to check how, what your uh, operating system is, click on the little Apple sign, click about this Mac. Then it'll say version, and I have 10.9.5, so I can use it because it's greater than 10.8. And, um greater than four gigabytes of ram and check of your ram click on this click about this mac and it'll say your memory right here how much ram i have eight gigabytes so if once you've looked at the requirements and you have all that click continue then continue again then click agree unless you want to read it but you're probably not going to want to read it then you want to click on install or change where you want this to install on like if you have an external hard drive or something Click install and then type in your password for your computer if you have one and then just wait till it's done downing running package scripts just wait till that's done then after this it'll be done installing and then we can open it up All right it's done click close close this and uh, get rid of this GoPro studio thing right here you just restart your computer click restart and then that'll go away so I'll do that after and then um to get to your GoPro studio app you want to go into finder and you want to click on all my files you know, on here you want to type in GoPro GoPro oh wait, it's not on here you actually have to search it in spotlight so to get the spotlight do command on, on command space on your keyboard or just click on that then type in GoPro then GoPro Studio will pop up, and then you can go into Finder. You can drag on Applications, and then go here, drag the GoPro Studio app into your Applications. All right. If it once it's in your Applications, you drag your GoPro Studio onto your dock if you want it on your dock, or you can just oh, go into your Applications to get it, and then drag it anywhere in your dock. I'll put it right here next to iPhoto. All right, and then open up GoPro Studio. And I'll give you what I'll give you a quick look at what it looks like, and 
do you want GoPro Studio to be your default importer for GoPro cameras? I'm going to go ahead and click yes for this. And yeah, so yeah, that's how you get the GoPro Studio app. And I'm going to make another video on how to edit videos on here. So yeah, that's how you do it. And um, I hope this video helped you. Please click the subscribe button. And um, click the like button too and share this video. And I'll see you guys later.